if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 26 of the third season here at AC Milan on FIFA 16. Today we'll be rounding out the Serie A season, games against Bologna and Hellas Verona. Tomorrow we have the Champions League final against Barcelona. It's the one competition that has escaped us so far in this save. I'd love to win it, especially against a team like Barcelona. We're in the Coppa Italia final for the third season in a row. We won it year one. We lost the final year two. Can we win against intercity rivals Inter Milan in season number three? We'll find out the day after tomorrow. And then the day after, the day after, after tomorrow. That makes sense. Uh, we'll be into World Cup 2018 with the Italian national side. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But right now, we're going to jump in against Bologna. The league team, the league table, the league table sees us one point behind Inter Milan. And four points behind Juventus. So we'll see how we get on, won't we? Into the game against Bologna we go, looking for three points. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content, most notably that Champions League final against Barcelona tomorrow. And let's jump in and get three points, or six points from the two games. Kraft. Oh, Insigne stolen it off him. And, oh, skip past one. And finesse it into the far top corner or far bottom corner or neither. It's gone wide. Really good footwork from Lorenzo Insigne there. We've got a corner, apparently. I didn't think that took a deflection. Never mind. That wasn't meant for Insigne. Oh, but it's reached all the way to Thiago Silva. And we'll get another corner. All right. That was supposed to find Hamsik. Never mind. We get Hamsik again from the second one? Mm, not really. All right. Let's float it into the box then. Over Verratti. Over the... Not over the keeper. Drops to Florenzi. How's your first touch? Decent. Florenzi. Oh. He's kicked that straight into the man that's in front of him. Tiago Silva will get this out wide to Insigne, whose touch is terrible. Uh, somehow he's managed to make it into the box here, and he's still going, Lorenzo Insigne. Still going, Lorenzo Insigne. Still going, Lorenzo Insigne. Doesn't score. Great save from Van Der because he <laughs> absolutely flattened on the edge of the box. Zuccolini. Oh, it's a lovely through ball. I don't know where the defenders went. Again, just split open, but thankfully, Falco just puts that wide. Insigne's tackled him. Get it to Morata. Oh, God, there's just so many people around me instantly. Hamsik, that's a free kick, surely. Right, Florenzi. Get this in the back of the net, please. Over the bar and... Oh, what a save from Vandele down low. It was so close to going, the back, going into the back of the net. Gertz will pull this back to Hamsik, whose first touch is decent, and the shot straight at Stocker, unfortunately. That technique has worked for us numerous times this season, but not on that occasion. Here's Morata. I want to get it to... Well, I wanted to get that to Verratti, but never mind. Alexandro can burst down the outside and then stand the ball into the middle. No, nope, we'll take a corner. OK. 15 minutes to go. Still looking for the opening goal in this game. Again, we'll pull it back to Marek Hamšík. This time, we'll go for... Oh, the touch was so ridiculously heavy. Why? My initial reaction after playing FIFA 17 a, few, a couple of weeks ago was that those sort of first touches don't happen anymore, or at least are so less frequent so I'm desperately looking forward to FIFA 17's new engine on uh, on Frostbite because I hate first touches like that Bratti through to Berardi and the shot deflected off the bar what's Messina doing I couldn't get to I couldn't get to the ball around him because he was on the floor wow what a shot from Berardi it took a massive deflection that almost flew it into the top corner Goethe Poke that to Verratti. We'll go through there to Insigne and then to Morata and across to Verratti. And Verratti will not score because it's well saved by Vandele. Wasn't as well placed in the corner as it needed to be, I don't think. Thiago Silva should win that header, and he has done. And Goethe will bring this forward. There's Insigne. We'll dance around the outside. And I might go back to Hamsik here because there's so... Oh, we'll go to Alexandro. There's so many white shirts in the middle trying to get on the ball. Goethe arrives with a header, but Messina heads it clear first. Goethe is going to stay down on the ground. That sucks. I am actually waiting for the ball to go out of play so I can substitute him and have been since the 82nd minute but never mind ball just hasn't gone out of play so I can't substitute anyone if the ball is still available on the pitch oh a little bit late but it is going to reach Morata Morata for a last minute winner blocked by Jandel Vandele brings it into his grasp and that should be full time and is a nil nil draw against Bologna not the result we needed. We had definitely enough chances to win it there, but their keeper made save after save after save. You can see there, 12 shots, 9 on target. What did their keeper get? A 7.9 and 
uh, man of the match and six saves. Disappointing, but we'll head into the final game. Inter, Inter, one against Juventus. Against Juventus? No, hang on, whoa. I thought Inter have won, but Juventus lost. So we're within three points of Inter and Juventus. Goal difference is in our favour. I, I don't know what head-to-head -head is. I don't know what head-to-head -head is. We need to win our final game of the season and hope that Inter or, or and slash or, Juve lose. Okay. Hellas Verona, prepare to get battered. Maori out to Insigne. We're through the gap to Backer. Starting Carlos Backer ahead of uh, Morata for this one. And I've made a couple of changes in midfield as well with Jose Maori starting. Gertz uh, has had the first chance of the game that's well saved, but we're going to keep the pressure up, hopefully. And Mario Gertz will bring that down. We'll go to Backer and we'll let rip. And it's well blocked, but it's going to drop to Backer and Rafael makes another save. Moving forward the same way that uh, we want to, if that makes sense. Starting the game in the manner that we wanted to, I think, is what my brain was trying to say, but it didn't really phrase it in the way that made any sort of sense in the English language. Berardi's through here. Berardi saved again by Raphael. Maori, Maori keeps it in, dinks it up. Well, Raphael is already proving to be annoying little shit. Let's see if we can actually beat him numerous times, shall we? Back us up, flicks it on nicely. Goetze, Berardi's there on the outside. Takes it in his stride well, turns his side even better. Could lay it to Backer, waiting on the edge to finesse that in the bottom corner or have another shot blocked. Insigne oh, goes down in the box. Well, we have been battering Verona. We just haven't got the ball in the back of the net yet. If this continues for 90 minutes, it's going to be a long afternoon for their defenders. Excuse me, I'll have that, thank you. Hamsik forward to Backer, just lay that off there to Berardi. Away from the defender, turn inside the other one, give that to Backer again. That can go to Hamsik, Hamsik can go to Insigne. Insigne can drill it into the box and Berardi will not score. Oh, Raphael, you really are becoming quite an annoying little shit. Yonita, Maximovic gets to tackle him, but they sprayed it quickly out to Torre Grossa and he draws a save out of Donnarumma. Their first chance of the game. I've already got the feeling that I'm going to absolutely dominate the amount of chances that we have in this game, but... They'll score with like a last minute one nil spawny goal. Unless, unless, no. Nope. Alexandro through to Maori. I don't know why Insigne is in the middle and Backer's out wide, but we'll have to try and work something. And Backer's done well. Try and finesse it into the top corner. And he's put it wide. I don't, I don't know how many chances we've had already. What, seven, eight in the first 28 minutes? Six, four on target, two wide, no goals. Never mind. We'll just keep going. Maximovic steals it off the defender. And Goetze could be played through here. Go on, Mario. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. He has done. Mario Goetze. At last. 1-0 AC Milan after 34 minutes. It took seven attempts, but we finally got a goal. Hopefully, that will open the floodgates and we'll be able to get a few more. I was so tempted to square it to back of there. But I thought, no. I've got put faith in the Mario. And faith was rewarded. 1-0. To the cross, sir. Oh, that's... Oh, needed saving. That was an awkward one. Heading towards the top corner. I think it may have been deflected after he shot. But good save from Donnarumma. Good reactions to get up there to clear it. And Gertz will clear this, he says in a very unconfident voice. It's going to be another corner, I think, and is. Donnarumma, if you could be a little bit more convincing, if you're going to come for those, that would be fantastic. Gertz again is the man underneath it. And Gertz again causes his opposition to get another corner. If we could get this cleared, that would be great, please. I don't want them to have corner after corner after corner and eventually score. And they won't, because Donnarum has plucked that out of the air. Free kick in a, a decent position, but I'm not going to be able to shoot really from there. But Alexandro could give it a pop. On his left foot, the left back drills it wide. Another chance come and gone. Half time almost upon us. It's Fares up against Florenzi. He's done. Florenzi shot straight at the keeper. Backer knocked this down to Goetze. And they make the run. Oh, Gertz is in. Go on, Mario. Keep going. And you might be able to get our second goal of the game. I'm going to have to turn back inside and then finesse it. He's missed. I had faith in you before, Mario. And you put it in the back of the net. I had faith in you again. And you've not even hit the target. Right, he steals it off the defender. Gertz will roll the second defender. And Morata's in the middle. So I will try and find him, perhaps. There we go. Morata for two. Rafael comes and smothers it. How many saves has he made in this game now? I don't even know. Can Insigne get to that? Trying to put the pressure on. I know they're going to get it away. 18 minutes to go. We've had 10 shots. 
but only scored once. They have been suitably battered, but the scoreline doesn't reflect that, not yet at least. Maori, Jorginho, Goetze, Morata, around the outside, Alvaro Morata, over the bar. Wow, what a terrible shot. Win that header please, Alex. Well up, sir. Maori will come forward with it and we'll give it to Goetze. Good first touch, good second touch, good third touch, good save. <laughs> We're looking for that deserved second goal, but it's just not coming. Raphael just makes save after save after save all game long. Goetze could poke through Morata here. I'm through one on one and he blows the final whistle. And I'm pretty sure that would have ended up in the back of the net. Although the way Raphael played, who knows. But we get a 1 0 win. We just don't know what happened in the other games. Raphael, save. Raphael, save. Oh, okay. He didn't show many more than that. Well, we had 11 shots and six on target. How many saves did he make total in the end? He gets a 7.9 and he made nine saves. Nine. Ridiculous. Inter, Juventus won. Inter won. We stay fourth. We'll be finishing in fourth spot in Serie A in season number three. Well, tomorrow's episode will be a Champions League final against Barcelona, a youth player one. So we've got 10.4 million added to the transfer budget, though, for uh, finishing fourth in the league. But that is going to bring the Serie A season for season number three to a close. Tomorrow will be that Champions League final in the suit against Barcelona. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section uh, how you think we did in this season. Actually, let's see if Napoli did the unthinkable and got a unbeaten season because I, I have not checked or not bothered to look that closely in the past couple of episodes. Barcelona beat Napoli in the Champions League, but we'll see what the final league table looked like. You, you, the, uh, the Europa League has already been won by Tottenham and Napoli have done it. Napoli do the invincible season. 28 wins from 38 games, 10 draws, zero losses. Congratulations, Napoli, on an unbeaten season. We finished fourth, three points behind Juventus and Inter, who both finished on 80 points. Sampdoria a long way behind us, relegated are Empoli, Frosinone and Cagliari. Well, we'll have a season roundup after the Coppa Italia final against Inter, but tomorrow will, will, tomorrow will be Champions League final. The day after that will be uh, Coppa Italia final. Then we'll do a season roundup for season three, and then we'll jump into the World Cup with the Italian national side. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.